Machine Learning for Splunk and Hug. Machine Learning normally means taking a large data set, feeding it through an algorithm like linear regression, logistic regression, KMI, and many other, and training a model. At that point, we can take the model that we trained and apply it to use cases like anomaly detection, clustering, predictive analytics, or just basic suggestion for searches and pattern recognition. Machine learning, although a very powerful concept, has its own challenges. For example, it takes a very long time to develop the code. The second part is that in order for us to take the data and feed it into the algorithm, we have to prepare the data. And that means data preparation and cleansing is also a long ETL process. And finally, creating and experimenting with new model requires a fairly sophisticated user. To solve these challenges, Splunk created the Machine Learning Toolkit and Showcase. The app exposes us to six type of categories of machine learning. For example, how to predict numeric fields using linear regression, how to predict categorical fields using logistics regression, and a few others like detect numeric outliers, detect categorical outliers, to do a clustering of events based on algorithms like KMIS and DB scan and the predict command. In this case, the app exposes the predict command in a very user-friendly manner. There are several new Splunk commands that eliminate the need for coding. For example, the fit search command allows us to create new machine learning models based on different algorithm. Then the apply new command takes the model that was built by the fit command and applies it to Splunk indexes or Hadoop data via the hunk virtual indexes. The second part that is important to understand that Splunk indexes or hunk virtual indexes give us the raw data as a set of key value pair and eliminate the need for a complicated ETL. And finally, the Splunk visualization allows us to detect anomalies and outliers without any effort. So let's start with the predict numeric field. The very first thing the app allows us to do is to pick one of several different data sets to uh, apply. The second part is the app allows us to select the field we want to predict as well as the fields to use for the predictions. And then it exposes the data from a visualization point of view so that we can see right away what is the outcome based on the fields that we selected for this linear regression. If we actually want to open it in a regular Splunk search, we can select this option and we can see the search that created this predicted value. In this case, we have input lookup and we fit in the housing.csv file. Then we apply the new command called the fit command and the new algorithm called the linear regression based on the field and from this field. And then we can take it a step further and feed that and create a model. We're going to train a model right now into data that comes from Splunk or data that comes from Hunk. So in this case, we have this data that comes from Hadoop via the Splunk virtual indexing. We can take the data from Hadoop and run a MapReduce job on top of it. And then as you expect, 
we can then do apply the same model that we created a second ago and now we have the new predicted value based on that data set and we can visualize it to find any type of uh, behavior. Similar to what we did for the linear regression, we can apply the fit and apply commands to other machine learning concepts. The app comes with the ability to show the end user how to detect numeric outliers. The same actually data set that we used earlier for the linear regression, but apply it to a different set of uh, algorithm and we can see the outliers based on a crime. In the detect categorical outliers, we can see the ability to go in and based on the specific categories, we have a new search command called the anomaly detection search command allows us to go in and pick only the field that were detected as outliers. The fifth use case as part of this app is the ability to do forecasting and using the Splunk predict command. And finally, um, the app also exposes us to several clustering events, for example, the ability to apply k-means, db-scan, and a few other algorithms to understand a behavior. For example, if we actually select the k-means option, it will show us the search, the fit, k-means, and as was the case before, we can fit it into a model, train a model for k-mean, and then apply that model to a data set from a Splunk indexer or a Hunk virtual index. To summarize, the machine learning toolkit and showcase shows us how to use Splunk machine learning without the need to write code. It shows us also how to feed that model that we create into a Splunk indexer or Hunk virtual index and therefore eliminate the need to do data preparation. That is done out of the box. And finally, it shows us that you can take that model and immediately applies it to Splunk visualization so that you don't have to create an additional layer before you can expose that data to a large audience. Thank you.